Allies split over fighter jets for Ukraine, oligarchs home raided. Ukraine is continuing to call for fighter jets in its scramble for weapons and equipment to help fend off Russian forces, even after several allies, the United States. Britain and Germany said they will not provide the aircraft. Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky is preparing for a summit with the European Union on Friday, saying in his nightly address. This week will be a week of European integration in every sense of the word. Separately, Secretary of State Antony Blinken is expected to discuss the war in Ukraine with Chinese officials during his two-day visit to the country starting Sunday. White House spokesman John Kirby said Tuesday, Here's the latest on the war and its ripple effects across the globe. Key developments. Ukrainian police raided the home of oligarch Iyer Kolomoisky, the head of Ukraine's ruling party confirmed. Writing on Telegram early Wednesday, David Arakamia said searches and other actions were also carried out against government offices and officials. Local media, including Ukrainska Pravda, reported that the raid against Kolomoisky, who made his fortune through energy companies, banking, airlines and media was related to an investigation into embezzlement. Ukraine's security service said it had conducted searches of construction companies in Kiev, which it alleged were involved in laundering money to benefit former pro-Russian lawmakers. Last week, Zelensky dismissed a number of senior figures, including a close advisor, mostly on corruption allegations. The high-profile searches, firings and investigations came ahead of the EU summit, a meeting Kiev hopes will help its bid to become a full member of the bloc. More officials were dismissed Wednesday, including leaders in the Customs Service and the deputy head of the State Forestry Agency, according to Arakamia. Ukrainian officials are also preparing new reforms, Zelensky said Tuesday. An EU official on Wednesday called the earlier dismissals a signal of their determination and of the functioning of what they have now put in place. President Biden's blunt no when asked whether he would send F-16s to Ukraine was met with skepticism at the Pentagon. One official told the Washington Post that the fighter jets could be M1A, referring to Biden's decision to send M1 Abrams tanks after resisting for several months. Russia is preparing for maximum escalation, the Secretary of Ukraine's National Security and Defense Council said. We do understand everything is on the table. I can say that we are not excluding any scenario in the next two to three weeks, Oleksiy Danilov told Sky News. In reference to the forthcoming first anniversary of the Russian invasion on February 24th, I'm conscious that the main fights are yet to come and they will happen this year, within two to three months. These will be defining months in the war. Russia is preparing to hold elections in the Ukrainian territories it occupies, Russian Federation Council Chairwoman Valentina Madvienko told reporters Wednesday. Residents of those regions, Donetsk, Luhansk, Zaporizhia and Kherson, are full-fledged citizens of Russia, and we can't deprive them of the right to elect and the right to be elected. Madvienko said. She added that Russia would establish executive and legislative branches of government there. Ukraine and international allies have called Russia's annexation claims illegal, and Moscow's forces do not have control of the entirety of those regions. Key Developments Ukrainian police raided the home of oligarch Iyer Kolomoisky, the head of Ukraine's ruling party confirmed. Writing on Telegram early Wednesday, David Arakamia said searches and other actions were also carried out against government offices and officials. Local media, including Ukrainska Pravda, reported that the raid against Kolomoisky, who made his fortune through energy companies, banking, airlines and media, was related to an investigation into embezzlement.